Hey guys, it's Coach Josh Gary, and this week's video I want to talk about t-shirts. Not just walking to an event or walking around with your boyfriend or girlfriend. No, I'm talking about t-shirts being worn by professional wrestlers during a professional wrestling match. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say this out, and I'll explain myself more. I do not like that idea, and I'll tell you why. One is you are a professional wrestler, a professional athlete, a one-on-one -on -one or tag team or whatever against whatever competition that involves strength and endurance and technical wizardry, etc. You should look like an athlete or somebody that could legitimately kick somebody's butt. When you wear a t-shirt, what you are doing is you are usually you're hiding flaws that you see within yourself. You either have saggy, uh, saggy breasts or a gut or you're not tan or you're hairy or whatever. But here's the deal. It looks worse wearing a t-shirt than if you were to show those imperfections to an audience. Now, let's take this to a in front of the curtain scenario. You do not want to give your an opponent an unfair advantage or extra cloth that they could grab to gain leverage. So when you wear a t-shirt, you're automatically killing that idea. You are giving your opponent an advantage. Whether you think it's that way or not, that is how it will be perceived by most fans. Now people will say, Josh, what about guys that are trying to sell their merchandise and they wear their, wear their own shirts to the ring? On the independent level, I'm not a big fan of it, and I'll tell you why. Uh, television and pay-per-views and international companies or whatever, that's a little bit different. But on the independents, you have seven seconds from the time you come through that curtain for people to make an instant decision, whether they like you, hate you, don't give a crap, whatever. And by wearing a t-shirt, I think it kind of diminishes that. The fans are already there. They see your merch table. They see your t-shirts. I think if they want one, they're going to get one, right? Like, I don't think that there is a reason for you to go and say, hey, buy my t-shirt. Go out there, look like a professional, perform well in the ring, and at intermission or afterwards, or even before, if you've got a following, they will come and they'll buy your t-shirts. That I'm not worried about. Uh, but if you are wearing a t-shirt because you are insecure about how you look or how you feel or how you think people will perceive you, uh, find another way to cover up those flaws. Uh, singlets, butcher style singlets. They've got these uh, shoulder supports, right, that kind of cover this. Buff Bagwell wears, wears one currently. And, uh, you know, it covers up like if you've got some scarring or something like that. I think that's great. Uh, you can wear what the luchadors do down in Mexico where they've got like the full-on shirt that covers all the way down the arms and everything like that. Wear something like that. It's tight. It's form-fitting. There's things that you can put on under it that will give you a shape. Remember, we are an aesthetic business, and I will not fault anybody for wearing uh, a, a male bra or a girdle or whatever it is to keep everything tight and in place. You know, women are asked to do that on a day-to-day -day basis outside of wrestling. So why can't a guy do it during a pro wrestling event? So there are other ways that you can hide your flaws other than wearing a t-shirt. Of course, obviously, you don't want promo pictures taken while you're in a t-shirt because then you just look like Joe Schmo. You want to look like a professional wrestler. Guys, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know some of the worst things you've seen guys wearing to the ring that you kind of go, man, that guy is not a professional wrestler. And of course, I'd like you to click over there to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can click over there for more videos and past tips and tricks that I've done. And I've got all of my social media contact links in the description below. Hit me up. I'm Coach Josh Gary. Keep driving and striving, guys.